Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. This is just going to be a quick video response to quite a few people asking me about using a hack RF for jamming. I typically wouldn't do this since I like to script things and automate things, but you can do it with the GUI interface here. Um, by adding a noise source and using the default configuration and connecting that to an Osmocom sync, you can then send out your signals over the hack RF. I really didn't change much in the Osmocom sync. I changed the channel frequency to 315 million because we're sending our door alarm over the 315 megahertz. And then I played around with some of the gain settings. You'll see them right there. You can just copy those. And if I turn on my uh, GQRX and adjust it here to 315 megahertz, this thing gets tricky when you're pressing it. It likes to change on you. All right, there we go. And if I hit scan, you'll see nothing going on. If I'm launching the uh, GNU radio, you'll start to see a whole bunch of noise in the frequency. So it's doing the same thing as the yardstick when we're using RFCAT or our jammer script from the initial blog. However, I find this to not work as well. It lets some stuff through, whereas my yardstick pretty much knocks it all out. So if I hit the door alarm now, it may go off, it may not. It did. And now I'm hitting it repeatedly and you'll see all the signals, but it only lets some of them through. And you'll see the signals over and over. The door alarm's not going off anymore. If I hold it down, so, Basically, it's kind of hit or miss, but it took care of most of it. And if I was looking to make it a bit more consistent, I would play around with the gain settings and the channel settings and see what I could do. However, I typically wouldn't go the GNU radio route just because I like to script things, keep it simple, use one tool that I can do everything with. I consider the yardstick to be a bit more scalable overall just because of the scripting aspect. There is some scripting you can do with the... Uh, GNU radio, but it's not as straightforward. All right, that's it. If you learned something, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe and be updated of videos, hit the subscribe button.